Falcon Garden of the Gods today, which is a uh, permanently free, open public park. And uh, we were just at one of the little scenic stops on the way, and maybe getting a thumbnail or something, you know, it was a good stop. You can see where we're going to be going, which is parking uh, down there. I don't know how you pursue that with this wide angle lens. And then walking up and through there. So, uh, yeah, I guess we're gonna hop back in the car and continue on. What's going on, guys? We're here at Garden of the Gods. Gonna do another hiking video. Got a cute dog behind me, following me. And a puppy, Shepherd. And there's gonna be an absolute ton of people, so there's no way I'm gonna be able to avoid putting the camera right in their face. And uh, I don't care. We're just gonna have to deal with it today. But uh, we're at a super historic uh, park with a lot of great visuals to look at, and uh, I don't know other stuff. Let's go check it out. We're at the uh, very entrance here. We just came from the parking uh, lot, I guess. That's the normal one's under construction, so we had to park at a detour one, an auxiliary parking lot, if you will. And, uh, yeah, we'll turn the camera back on when we get a little higher and closer to the cool stuff. Okay, so we got, like, maybe, like, one minute. You can drive straight up there and park at one of the smaller parking lots, but honestly, you're going to have trouble finding parking. And if you are acclimated to the altitude, this is, a uh, yep. This is super easy. The bikers here are courteous. They let you know when they're about to run into your ass. And uh, yeah. So we're just gonna shut up here for a minute and keep walking. And this probably looks flat. Nothing in Colorado near the mountains is ever flat. <laughs> It'll make your calves burn and you uh, realize you're out of shape really quick. Looks like we got a tour group here ahead of us. Something I uh, don't recommend is tour groups. Go out and experience things for yourself. Go off track, do what you want to do. So it's Saturday, and uh, you're always going to find tourists here, and just people, locals too, but um, weekends are not the time to come. If you want to have all the space you can do so, but if you don't care, come when the weather's good, which is what we're doing today. I do highly recommend coming as early as you can get up and go, because you will find the weather is the best then. Lowest amount of wind, good temperatures. But again, if you can't manage it, come when you can come. So Mesa gravels, 2 million to 10,000 years old which would be this hill right here. Yeah, even if you're not a hiker and you're in Colorado Springs or near Colorado Springs, uh, you can drive all around this and experience the majority of it. So I highly suggest if you're ever visiting uh, even Denver, it's only about an hour, mm, hour and a half drive south of Denver, come check it out. It's something you uh, won't see anywhere else in the world and highly worth experiencing.
All right, guys. Finally made it in the uh, interior of the main section of the park, and there is probably a hundred plus trails. Oh shit! But there's somebody. Uh, I don't know if you'll see this on this GoPro, but there's somebody rock climbing. But that's basically what I was going to get at. Is um, majority of people here stick to this main area and just kind of take it all in, but. A lot of people, if you're into this kind of thing, will uh, go rock climbing. There's actually two or three rock climbers to see already. They'll go rock climbing, they'll bring their dogs, they'll bike, they'll um, just kind of get out on the uh, more unknown trails, which we may or may not go check out today, and uh, kind of experience that. But let's take a look at what's in front of me instead of my face. left like we normally do and then uh, from there there's a couple trails that split off from here if we want to go hit those <laughs> oh the gopros yeah yeah they're teeny well, they're meant to be, you can attach it to like helmets and stuff. Oh yeah, let's see if we can show the rock climbers. I don't know if they'll be able to see it. But there's a rock climber right there. They're right there. And they're not free climbing. Actually, the first guy is free climbing. He has no attachments. He's uh, very skilled. But uh, that is a inverted climb. It's actually coming towards us as you climb, which is one of the more difficult sections to climb. And since it is such a nice day out, I'm sure we will see a ton of people climbing. So here's a, uh, a selfie location a lot of people take advantage of, where they have a very small little area to rock climb up here. It's kind of an easy access, and they just go straight up there. It's a beginner level of rock climbing, something I'm 100% not interested in doing. Last time I was here, there was rock climbers doing that. Oh, there's one right there. Again, I'm using the GoPro, so a uh, wide angle lens, no zoom. Might be hard to pick up rock climbers that are like 500 feet above me, but they're there. I'm not sure what to say about this place, guys, but you gotta kinda definitely have to see it in person to take it all in. Um, I have so many of these that I haven't used before. But yeah. mine aren't so good.
good? Yeah, I'm hot. Told you. I know. I can't touch my pants though. These are probably the most awkward steps I've ever been up. No, they're just awkwardly spaced. You have to take about like one and a quarter steps in between, which makes it super awkward. Then you have the guy running past you making you feel bad. Excuse me. Out here we're approaching on one of the biggest uh, selfie points, but we're gonna go beyond that. Kind of pass a no trespassing time sign and uh, go to a point that uh, most people don't dare go for some good pictures. Ooh, wind! Hopefully, this isn't too bad. Alright guys, so thank you park rangers and we're gonna go for it. Alright, so we made it. At the risk of a ticket of getting kicked out. We made it past all the tourists. To a super dangerous spot. But it is totally worth it. Not the easiest climb. But we are pretty much going vertical to go check out what's up here. Alright guys, so we made it past the tourists out of line of the park rangers. And uh, yeah, it's crazy up here.
mountain. I just ran up in front of like a thousand people. So, apologize for that. But, you can see the selfie from up here. Yeah, kind of incredible. I doubt this will uh, do it justice, but it's something that's just kind of kind of lost for words. It's very dangerous. Yeah, we think, uh, uh, right now you're doing it, you do it. But I've done it before. So I was fairly confident in my abilities to do it. Because last time I did it, there was uh, snow on the ground. So it was like 10 to 20 times slippery. This was easy in comparison. Still took my breath away. But it's okay. Down is a bit more difficult, but still doable. Again, if you don't know what you're doing, don't do it. It's probably a 40 foot drop, and I gotta go down it. So, let's get to it. Yeah. The issue is I need to be flexible for this. No, I mean, I last time I did that was in the snow, so I was pretty confident in my abilities yeah. to climb up there. Yeah, I don't really No, no, if you fall, you're dead. I know. Like, <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, I was looking at the uh, climbers. Do they ever have any incidents of anything? I have no idea. I don't pay attention to that. Uh, I, just thought I mean, it's pretty safe if you don't do free climbing. If you do, um... Uh, the, the ropes and all the that. ropes and all that. It's yeah. pretty safe. Um, I, mean, I guess you could bang your head against the rock if you fall, but other than the than that, I mean, I mean, if you fall to the if you fall to the bottom from there, you're, you're, you can get back up. I love all the swallows in the holes. Yeah, well, there's, I think there's owls that nest in the ones oh, on the. Oh sure, I just you can't see them during the day. You no, no, you got to come here at night or morning. I would assume they'd eat the little critters that are hiding during the day that come out scurrying. Oh, the lizards? And the little, uh, I'm sure you had a little version of moles or little ground critters that come out at night. Yeah. Okay. So apparently that's the selfie spot today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, they're not going past the sign, but they're Everybody climbing up there. Doing... Selfie spot. Yeah, well, you're not a millennial. Yeah, this is like, please avoid this space. I'm, I'm getting, <laughs> I'm getting gray hair. I mean, I get it. Careful. No, it's okay. It's just, uh, I just climbed that entire thing with one hand. <laughs> I don't want to break my phone. Yeah, that probably would be a bit easier. Just don't sit down on it. So yeah, this is the uh, destination spot for anybody visiting here the first time. Is this point where you can kind of climb up some rocks and uh, chill, catch your breath. But if you're from here, there's much better spots. Fours when needed. Um, you know, I got a weak ankle. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the word is we're gonna keep keep on trekking. This would be cool in a fish tank. Really, really, really big fish tank. So I did bring the DSLR, but I don't think we're going to break it out until the way back because I only have one battery. And I don't know how long that's going to last. So I wanted to make sure we got at least the way up. 
on the GoPro. For uh, those of you wondering, um, in between cuts, so far I've been walking for about an hour, not too long. I'm not tired. Um, pretty easy. Um, if you're used to this kind of altitude and getting outside, not too bad at all. Easily you can do this and more. Keep going, see some other trails. Um, or go do something else that's not going to wipe you out quite like uh, the last trail I did was. It was probably only, I don't know, a mile and a half, two miles uh, this direction. So four, four to five miles total so far if we include the way back which has not yet been done. I didn't do it in the snow though. <laughs> Yo, yeah, no, Duncan's the one who did it first. He's what? He did it first. Oh, oh gosh, then you had no choice. <laughs> I went halfway up. I didn't go as far as he did because it was just too slippery. It was just, I didn't, I wasn't confident in my shoes yet. I wasn't yeah. confident. And well, the snow it. changes things. And like yeah. I said, if you mess up, you're dead. You're dead. Yeah, that's Like exactly. there is no second chance. A lot, oh, there'd be a lot more today on a Saturday. Oh, I'm sure. And not a holiday. Oh, uh, yeah. Most people are going to brunch, not. Yeah, that's true, that's true. So, yeah. Colorado. Destination to visit. You like being outdoors or want to experience this kind of thing? For sure. And uh, as somebody who spent most of their life living in a swamp, everything mostly looks the same. As we're here, you go an hour in any direction, it's going to look completely different. But no ocean. So. And now you live in a swamp. Hey, it's a gorgeous ocean. It's an okay ocean. It, it, the Caribbean that. and the Mediterranean are much more beautiful. Uh, me. I mean, this is a world ranked Whatever. hiking spot. <laughs> it's better than nothing. The one thing Wilmington has is a good lighting for some reason. You can really feel when you hit the incline bumps too. <laughs> Calves start screaming at you saying, what's going on? So, let's take a quick stop here and look at the park map for you guys. I know where I'm going, but you probably don't. Yeah. 
about to start running into a lot less people over here. If you want to get off trail, if you don't like all the people, go hit up the main spot and then uh, walk north or west and uh, you'll find trails pretty much no matter where you start if you walk north or west. And uh, you won't run into as many people. And if you don't know which direction is north or west, point towards the mountains, that's west. Turn to your right, that's north. Because <laughs> there's, there's a lot of cactus here. Cacti. And uh, pretty much everywhere you'll find little finds like this. Dang, don't walk here. But uh, there's not that many park rangers here to enforce that. And when you're walking, just try not to stomp over the vegetation. That's really what they're concerned about is uh, regrowing uh, root systems. So the uh, landscape and topography doesn't change. All right, so where exactly are we? We are at Palmer Trail, Colorado Springs, Colorado, United States of America. Right there is Pikes Peak. Uh, probably may be able to see it in the very distance, covered with snow still. And that just uh, will give you some idea of the altitude changes and how close it will happen. So I personally have never done this trail. Let's go check it out. First, let's do a quick pan. Alright, so we can see in the rocks here, hopefully this picks up, you can see a lot of copper from the green. Because when copper oxidizes, it turns green. So we have a lot of quartz, granite, and copper. And, uh, this trek, I'm not saying hey to every person I pass, because I'm tired. I'm short on breath. That doesn't matter. Oh, whoa, we gotta take a look at this. Ah, I'll show it on the way down. I don't think I can capture it on the GoPro. But, uh, crazy views. You won't find anywhere else. I've been to the top of the mountains in North Carolina, California. Arizona, and uh, a lot of places in between. But Colorado Springs is hands down one of the best places for outdoor things, whether that be hiking, horseback riding, or biking, pretty much in the world. Worth checking out if you're into that kind of thing.
So you can see it beyond that, in between those rocks, is where we uh, started this video. Whew. All right, guys. I think we're gonna snag this rock and uh, maybe even do a giveaway for it. We'll see. I lied. We're gonna put that one down, and we're gonna take this one. So again, way on that ridge up there is where we started. <sighs> Alright guys, we're switching over to the DSLR. We're going to see how that films while walking around. It is way heavier than a GoPro. Um, so, so that's why we didn't do it the whole time, in addition to the fact that I only have one battery instead of three for the GoPro. So uh, I was a little worried about not being able to capture everything with that if I only used it. But uh, yeah, we caught our breath. We're enjoying, um, enjoying this random trail we've never been on. This is the first look at it for us. And let me uh, zoom out here. Look at that, there we go. It is warm out here today, guys, and it's probably not as hot as the areas you're used to, but with this elevation and the lack of humidity, it's hot. Man, the lack of wind. All right, guys, let's get right back to it. Ooh, we got uh, our first nature friend here. Oh my goodness, I can't see anything. Did you hear a seal? Yes! Okay. <laughs> um, guys, there's no water near here. There's no reason for me to be hearing seals. Um, there was definitely just a seal noise. And for those of you that are from California, you know exactly what that noise is. It is very distinct. Or wherever else they have seals. I'm sure there are other places. It's a great trail. So I think this trail was called the, uh, I think this trail was called the uh, Palmer Trail at Garden of the Gods. It's uh, on the west side of the park. So you go past the main entrance. There's roads that'll take you up here. If you're lucky, you can find a uh, parking spot. If not, go park down at the bottom and you got probably a, at least a two mile trek, maybe three, uh, to the Palmer Trail. And we have no clue where we're at, how much further this is going, or where we're gonna end up. But it's beautiful and worth every second of it. Well, let me take off this hat when I'm talking so you can actually see behind me. Ooh, this camera is so much heavier, guys. But, I mean, it's gorgeous. Pants are falling off. Hey, how are you? I'm good, how are you guys? Good, good. thanks for asking. Oh, we got a big group of people coming up up here. That's okay. Apparently a really long time. So, but we're already yeah, past the point of no return. Uh, 
So yeah, they said it wasn't that big of a deal. They lied. Well, they're from here. Colorado natives have different standards for exercise. Freaks in nature, all of them. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to show this. You got one person's width and then a cliff. And that uh, one person's width is bumpy and full of holes and it easily can find areas to trip. So, less looking at the camera and uh, more walking. I had a uh, beer and a shot of tequila before we started this trek, just to kind of make things interesting. And boy, am I glad I did. Whoo! Quick pan of the camera here for you guys to show kind of we were on uh, facing that way. And uh, now we're kind of dead on from this one. We started way, way over there. This has uh, become, it was a shorter, it was a shorter hike than our last one. And uh, has quickly changed to a much longer hike than our last video. Because of one decision to go check out a trail that wasn't that well wasn't as touristy and didn't have as many people on it and so far it's been awesome for several reasons and uh, tiring for entirely different ones okay, no more pictures. oh you're good nope i'm done with myself Hawks up in the mountains I'm seeing. Ooh, my hair is crazy. Yeah, whatever. I'm not here to be pretty. That's where the animals are. You can tell. Hawks are circling up there, which means they see something. Um, I think we lost some footage either because I was zoomed in on my nostrils or because I forgot to hit record, which is a bummer. But, uh, oh, cool. Looks like they have rams here. I haven't seen those. I have seen mountain goats here. But, um, not sure how much footage we have or haven't, but we'll compile what we have and, uh, Hopefully it turns out well. This is a beautiful place at the Palmer Trail and Garden of the Gods. We got away from the touristy areas and have just been kind of exploring. I have never done this trail before. I have no idea how long it is, but uh, people we stopped and talked to said it was not too bad and it takes us back to where we want to go. So we went for it. Ooh, these stairs are killer though. Steps, stairs. Same thing, right? Uh, so this is probably gonna equate to about a 10 mile hike by the time we're done with everything we've seen. And let's, uh, let me show you, see if I can show you guys this real quick. Wow. A lot of them are looking at me a little weird, but uh, that's pretty much everywhere I go when I vlog, so kind of getting used to it. Okay, yeah, this takes us kind of back to where we want to go. So I think I've spotted a parking lot 
that I know connects to the main section of the park, which connects to where we want to go, which is back to the car to get out of here. Now, arms are burning, thirsty, and uh, I'm tired. It's, whew, been a long hike, and I found some cool rocks to take back. Yeah, we're gonna go. Uh, Go through here and see what happens. Well, that seemed a lot further away five minutes ago, didn't it? Yeah, but we still have to go. Down there. Where are we? So this is where a lot of people try to park and unless you get here early in the day, good luck. Occasionally if you get here either in the evenings and the mornings when it's a bit cooler and less people, you'll see a bunch of antelope and mountain goats and various lizards doing their thing. But uh, the animals and to stay away during peak human hours. They learn when that is and just aren't interested. Ooh. Man, you, you get off this main path though and the amount of people you see drops to pretty much people who live here. And uh, have done this part and don't wanna see as many people. Completely different. I told you but a couple of times I was here people were walking their dogs and there's antelopes right here and those poor dogs were like let me eat it let me eat the antelope because it was there it was like a mama antelope a bunch of baby ones yeah and then up there were a bunch of mountain goats oh no those I've only seen briefly ones I'd love to see those mountain goats are cool you gotta wonder how they just vertically climb up I don't know, but the babies They climb right up it, they have no problem. Oh my God. Yeah, that's where I was talking about, right there. Yeah. Right there is where uh, the baby antelopes were. And oh. they were, people were holding their dogs back. And those dogs were very upset that they could not go eat a delicious antelope. Yeah, last time there was billy goats, or mountain goats, I guess not billy goats, mountain goats, Wait, all the way up there. Here. You can pick up a rock. Well, you didn't find me. I did. I bought you that little dream secret thing. It wasn't free, I had to pay for it. $40 for us. Alright guys, right here. Most people just walk straight past us. much to uh, see. see past uh, right behind me here so as soon as we get past this I'm gonna put it down hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'm not sure what the thumbnail is gonna be or if I'm gonna give away some of the rocks I found today or not mm, comment if you want one let me know what you think of this video comments help get this uh, video to more people which helps me make uh, more videos and do more things that you guys will enjoy. So I appreciate it, and I'll see you guys next time.